Yeah, what's up, everybody? Welcome to more IFC. Yeah, this is your man. I want to know you. Yeah, I want to tell you something. It's very important. Yeah, it's a message that I want to cross about. You know, in this world, we have real people and we have fake people in this world. So, if you've been cheated by fake people, don't let that break you. Don't let that change you. Be who you are. Keep being real to people. Like for example, people some, some people will come to you and say, hey, connect, let me connect back. When you connect and they connect back, later on they disconnect you. Don't let that break you. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. The fake people don't go nowhere. No, they rush, but they don't reach nowhere. They don't go far. They always don't go far. Fake people don't go far. If you are fake, you ain't going far. You may think that you are going far, you are not going far. It's like a... Uh, uh, any series, any show that people will get to vote, you know, they have to be a winner and they have to be a second winner and whatever, whatever. It's like maybe a mentor or maybe a America Got Talent or whatever shows that goes on, you know. So after the show, after people have been voted and there will be a winner. You know, sometimes the winner, those who win sometimes don't go nowhere. <laughs> those who have been evicted from the show or those who came to the second position or those who came to the third position or maybe the fourth position after the show you're going to see them they are doing great more than the person who won the show do you understand this is how it shows you know when you are real to yourself and you are real you will definitely go far but if you are not real and you being crowned as a queen or being crowned as a king you are not going nowhere. You're going to fade away from the season. Do you understand? So keep on being real who you are. Keep on staying real. You know, just be. Don't let everybody, don't let anybody change you to be a fake person. You know, keep being real. I'm going to form some 90 degrees angle there at the length. The width is this one. I made the width nine inches so you can make yours eight inches because the person needed it long. So if you want it very long, you can make it ten inches. But if you want it cute and small, you can make it eight inches or maybe seven inch width. And the length is supposed to be nine or ten. So after making your 90 degrees at the length. I deducted one inch from each angle. It's gonna depend the measurement that you're gonna use. If you want it to be, you can add some to it. You can make it if you can even measure half an inch from that angle. Both sides can have mark half an inch. If you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and click on notification bell. So anytime that I drop a video like this, banga like this. You be you get a message that I drop a video so you're able to come and learn some stuff. So you cut it out, you have to cut it out. The fabric has been folded into four. The lining and the main fabric. The lining two and the main fabric two. So I just added everything together to cut it at once. So if you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. And click on the notification bell and give me a thumbs up. Don't go without leaving me a comment. Ask me a question. Share your knowledge. So these eyes look like the top one is the line and this is the main fabric. The place that I've marked that's the wrong part of the fabric. Like I said, you can manipulate your own measurement. That's how it's called creative for you can manipulate your own measurement. See how it comes. So you gotta put stiff to hold it to make it very strong. And you take your zip, you put the right side and the right side of fabric and the right side of the zip. Put it, let them face together and put your lining on top of it. Stiff it. Pin it to hold it down. It become easy for you to sew. I'm used to it, so I didn't pin it. Don't look, I didn't pin it, so you didn't pin it. 
pin it. I say pin it. Pin it. So that will become easy for you. So one of the ways at the point where you think that it can so hard for you, maybe the zip, the head of the zip is disturbing you. Then you gotta lift up your machine and pull the zip in and continue. So when you saw this hard, you're gonna look like you want something like this. And we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. After that, we top stitch it. We are making pairs. If you have not subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe. If you have not clicked the notification bell, don't forget to click the notification bell. Because I'll be dropping videos every Wednesday and Sunday. So you can see I've top stitched it. You see. So what's the next step? The next step is you gotta open the zip. Not to an end, you gotta leave your space. And you put the right side of the fabric, the main fabric together and put the lining together and we're gonna show that part, we're gonna show that part, but we're gonna leave the ankles without showing that part. And we're gonna leave a space here, but we're only gonna show this part and that part and this part and leave a space. So make sure your everything is being fixed. You know, the lining and everything is being fixed. So this is how it's gonna look like when you sew. You can see I've sewed that part and I've sewed this part and I saw this part but I left a space there and I saw this part. So we're gonna open the angle that we left there. Like I said, fix it very well, let them match each other. Then sew on top. The same here, the same here, and this place for all that four corners. So I've done it. This is the last part of it. If you have not subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up, a comment, share. So this is how you're gonna look like. You can see it. If you see it, then you're gonna pull everything out through the line, the speed that we left. Then we pull everything. Show me love, show me love, subscribe, comment. Give me a thumbs up. If you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. So we're gonna close the space that we left in the lining. So we just have to close it. Just like that. So we're done. It's left with the zip, the handle of the zip because the, the zipper, the head of it is too small so we just have to give it some little bit of a handle so that it becomes easy for us to open the zip and close it down and you can even hold it as a handle. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me click on notification bell and leave your comment. Give me a thumbs up. I will appreciate your time. I will appreciate your energy. Respect. God bless you. All. If you are new to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. comment click on the notification bell so that anytime that I post something bang like this you see so we done we done we done we done we done thank you everybody yeah the work is being done try your hands on it when you get it wrong keep on trying keep on trying keep on trying never stop thank you god bless you